Hey guys, Joshua with Josh and Hunter's Adventures and welcome back to another episode. Today's video, we got a product review for you today. We are reviewing the Plano KVD Speed Worm Bags. Um, trying to figure out a way to store my soft plastics and uh, I decided I was going to order these and uh, see what I thought about them. So I'm going to do a little review on them. Um, they make two different sizes. Um, this size right here is the uh, will hold 20 it says it'll hold 20 uh, soft plastic bags and this larger one will hold it says 40 um, bags so um, mainly the reason one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because when I ordered these I really was unsure about what size they actually were uh, so uh, if you guys are looking for one of these bags um, maybe this will help you this video will help you all in deciding which one or if you want both of them um, so what I've got here is, is I've got uh, probably I think uh, 16 Ned Rig um, style baits in this bag right here and I could probably fit um, four or five more uh, down in there. I'll sort of hold it here on the camera and see. You can see I, I can still fit my whole hand in there. Um, you can see it's not, they're not cramped up. I mean they're pretty loose. Um, so. But one of the neat things, move this one out of the way, one of the neat things about these bags I thought was pretty neat um, is they fold down. Okay, so they fold down like that right there so you can actually get in there and look and see what you got, you know? So if you need something, and you still got room to move, so that folds down, easy to get to. Uh, it does have two zippers. Uh, the zippers do seem like they're pretty nice. It's got a little handle there. Um, think that uh, I think that I'm really gonna like these I've got an idea for these um, as you guys know I've been fishing out of a boat just a little bit more uh, still fishing out of a kayak I actually fished out of one today so uh, still doing that but um, I got an idea in my head about how I want to store my plastics uh, I'm in the process of, of getting a boat it may be a little bit closer to spring I still haven't exactly found uh, the, the deal that I'm looking for uh, but I've got an idea on how I want to store my plastics. I have a lot of plastics um, So I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to go this route. I just didn't know what size that I wanted to get uh, The other bag here is the 40 bag uh, So right now I have probably got I don't know maybe maybe 20 some in there and it's I Don't know. It's pretty full. I mean this is all beaver baits in this one, beaver style baits. Um, I think if you had all thin bags like this missile style bag right here, I think if they were all that size, they would probably fit. Or you run into problems with is for instance, uh, like power bait bags. See the size difference there? I'm gonna show you the difference. See how much size difference we're talking? I mean, see how fatter and then thin this this super thin. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, like I said, I've got a lot in here. Uh, I've even got um, some of the Kitek, uh, the flapper creature baits, uh, which are in the plastic uh, molded plastic uh, containers, and they seem to fit in there fine. I've got some uh, Rage that's in the plastic, uh, so they fit in there well, uh, also. But uh, as you can see, it folds down. Uh, you're able to go through it, uh, you know, anyway. And like I said, I've, I've got a lot in here and I'm still able to go through and look and see what I've got. Um, so I really think that's gonna be great. The bigger ones I'm probably gonna use for, um, you know, like obviously my beaver style baits that I have a lot of. Uh, jig trailers, I have a lot of jig trailers, so I'll probably buy another larger one. But like for instance, you know, my finesse worms, uh, my lizards, my crawls, um, Ned Rig stuff that I've probably only got 20 of each, you know, uh, depending on the amount of colors that you have, is going to depend on which uh, bag that you're going to need. Uh, but I like them. I really, I've got a good idea of what I want to do with it in my main compartment in, in the boat. Um, so this was the main reason of getting those and just trying to figure out really which one that I needed. And the zipper, like I said, it zips super easy, and it does. It is two zippers, so. But that one's got a handle right there on top, where this one has the handle right there. I'll show you. You can see 
on top and then right here on the side. But all in all, that's a uh, size comparison there that you can see. Um, I, I, I think that I'm going to like them. And the good thing about it is, is these, the price on these, the smaller one, the 20 one, is $9. I got this for nine dollars. Got it off Amazon, and the larger one I paid eleven dollars. That's not bad at all, really. Um, but yeah, I've tried everything from uh, you know plain old tackle, you know the thirty-seven hundreds to this is plastic bag. Just throw a bunch in there, and you're digging through. Can't find anything. Um, but yeah. I think that I'm going to like these a whole lot better um, because they, like I said, you're able to get in there, open it up, and look, and the price point is, it's great. I mean, $9 and $11, you can't beat that. But uh, guys, I hope this little review helps you in deciding if uh, this is going to be the right tackle system for you on your soft plastics. Uh, again, if this is your first time visiting our channel, please go down, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell. That way you know when we put out videos. Guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, this is Josh with Josh and Hunter's Adventures.